Yo, what's going on guys? This is Soul Shark and welcome back to another Minecraft script coding video and today we're going to be using command arguments. So we're going to be using the exact same code that we've been using for the uh, past few episodes with our kill command. If you guys have missed any episodes, there is a playlist and the very last episode is on the top right hand corner of the screen if you guys want to go check that out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So here is our code that we made from last episode. If you guys missed that, it will be on the top right hand corner of the screen. Definitely recommend uh, you guys go check out my playlist as well because it has all the has all the current videos that I have done with the script coding. But to get into this, what we want to do is add arguments. So there are several arguments you can have. You can have a text and players and uh, offline players. And there's so many different uh, arguments that you can have with commands. In this video, I'm going to be using uh, players because we want to heal uh, either ourselves or a specific player. Then add a little caret symbol. I forgot what those are called, but you want to add player and then uh, just end it off with that. So now we want to check if our argument player is uh, invalid or if it's null or uh, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to be checking if arg player because we're going to uh this is our argument is a player if you had text you could uh have it arg zero which is uh or arg one or how many arguments you ever had in your command but since we have player we're going to be using arg player for our if statement so if arg player is not set that means if arg player doesn't exist this is the code that we want to use so we basically just want to space this out to make sure that if a player executes the heal command, they will execute the heal command on themselves. So if uh, it is set, so we're gonna do if our player is set. So if it is set, now we can go ahead and basically execute the exact same command, except I'm not gonna have a delay on this one. So I'm just gonna copy this code. So we're gonna head and space it out just like so and that looks good so all formatting is all good and dandy so we do need to change a few things in this code so we want to check if args player is health is 10 if we just had the normal player then it will then the code recognizes the player person that executed that command but we want to check if it's the player that we want to heal so we're checking if our player's health is 10 we can go ahead and put the specific player's name so we'll do uh, arg player and that will give the specific player's name is so we'll send the player's name is already at full health if not we go ahead and heal that arg player that we want and then set food level of arg player to 20 and we'll send a message to that player so we'll do send to arg players so that will basically send the message to them and then we also want it to clear the potion effects of that specific player now we can send a, a message to ourselves saying uh you have healed and then we can get the specific player's name again arg player just like so you have healed that now we can go ahead and save that code and let's go and get so we'll do sk reload join to see uh, as you see our percent signs okay so we messed up a percent sign what's really helpful about this uh, error coding is it tells you the line that's why i use notepad plus plus so it's on line 31 so if we go back over here line 31 as you see we for we actually put two percent signs so totally forgot about that so we'll go ahead and save that now uh we should as you see we have successfully reloaded so if we do slash heal I'm already at full health, so if we do uh, GM0, we have a little bit of a delay, as you see. We still have to wait 9 seconds before executing the command, because we have set the delay on our command. So if we do heal, and then a specific argument, so if we do, um, let's try someone who's not even online, because it's just me online. So if we do heal, uh, let's try like Bobby. As you see, that player is not online. So that is something with script that it, it checks if the player is online already, if they're not online, then it won't execute anything. And this correct usage is from our code that we put in the very beginning of our episode. As you see, this is the usage. So we can either do heal, and then we can have, uh, we'll do like a two, like two brackets right here. So we'll make those white actually. It has two options that we can have. So make sure we go ahead and save that, go back in game. Okay, reload, join. As you see, uh, if we do heal and then someone else, 
as you see, we can either use heal or our heal player. So, then if we try to heal ourselves again, so let me go up top. So, uh, go ahead and take some damage. So, I'm gonna heal uh, and then put my name in the argument. So, we'll go ahead and do that. So, as you see, you've been healed and then you have healed Soul Striker. So, that is the message that we get if we healed someone else. And if we do it again, as you see, it works fantastically. So, so since I'm already at full health, as you see, it says we are at full health. So that is what we coded in our heal plugin. So, hope you guys really did enjoy. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions down below. If anything didn't work for you or whatever. If you guys have any suggestions of something that you want to see done, feel free to put it in the comments down below. And see you guys next time. Peace.